Well, I just think she, he, right, right. Well, she, he, uh-huh. Well, she, he. His pronouns are he, him. Now, are you going to respect that, or is this they, them going to turn you into a war was? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Buck Angel, and if you don't know who I am, I'm a transsexual man who does reaction videos and interviews so that we can get back to some sense of normalcy or reality or truth whatever in the trans community so with that being said thanks so much i really do appreciate you always watching and subscribing and commenting and you know ring that little bell thing if you want to know when i'm coming on because i'm a little bit controversial i don't know why i am i'm just speaking truth and actually my opinions which tend to be different than I think what you all are seeing out there. So hopefully you're going to see that there are some of us who are starting to push back here and have a different opinion about what's happening in the trans community. So yeah, I picked out a couple videos here to react to because I find them to be a little bit mm, interesting and I'm, I'm just tired of this stuff. And th there's a lot of really misrepresentation coming out of that community as well as anger and weird stuff. So this first one I picked out because I really want to talk about this. So here we go. We're going to watch this and then I'll comment afterward. Okay, so here we go. Hi, my name is Tempest. And if you don't want me to step on your toes, move your fucking feet. I mean, why? Just why? First off, your pronouns are Z, X, Zem, they, them, something or other. But how, first off, does anyone know Z, Zem? How would anyone know that those are your pronouns, my friend? Okay, how? I, I want to know because I've never even heard of them before. And how would they even know that you're a they, them? And the thing that's fascinating to me is I see anger. I see a lot of anger and I see this desire to, that feels threatening to me, like get out of my way and what? If you want people to respect you, you have to respect people. And also if you have weirdo, weirdo, I said it, weirdo pronouns, then you're going to have to remember that people don't use those pronouns. The majority of the world has never even heard of that. So if somebody misgenders you, it's because what you're using is not normal and it's made up and you're making it up. So when you make stuff up, be prepared for people to not understand what you're doing. And if you want people to understand you, you have to educate them. And please don't tell me it's emotional labor. What emotional labor is, is for me to have to figure out what your pronouns are because they're Z, them, zer, whatever, whatever. So if you want people to actually understand your pronouns, why don't you start educating about it in a nice way and not in a way where you're threatening people in order to get your way. It's very immature and actually people aren't going to do it. Just so you know, they're not going to do it. And that's why you're getting pushed back. It's exhausting. So let's check out the second one that I picked because it's basically on the same frame as the other ones. Just weirdos. Okay, this one is disturbing to me. Well, I just think she, he, right, right. Well, she, he, uh-huh. Well, she, he, his pronouns are he, him. Now, are you going to respect that or is this they, them going to turn you into a war was? What? Okay, again. Another person, whatever that person is, and I, it's actually creeps me out the way that they look. And they're trying to tell you what they're saying is normal by the way they look. First off, I know I was around in the 80s. I dressed crazy. I was a punk rocker. I had a bald head as a girl. I get it. I get the whole thing. And I remember how people push back on you. So I'm going to give you a little advice from an older trainee. Okay, here's the deal. If you look weird and act weird, people will not in any way respect what's coming out of your mouth. Secondly, if you continue to threaten people, okay, because they misgender you, they're going to continue to misgender you because nobody likes to be threatened. And I don't know what gives you the right to act that way and think that everybody's going to respect you. This idea that you can tell people that you're going to do this if they don't do that is so immature. Again, the immaturity coming out of this space. I understand a lot of these people are youngsters. And what I mean by that, this person is probably 20 years old. You don't need to act like that. 
Who's teaching these people to act like that? That's what I would like to know. And why is this the trans community? How did it become so wacky and weird and all this crazy stuff? I told you it's why I do not align with this stuff. It is not why I transitioned. I transitioned to live like a dude, walk the world like a dude, not have any problems with people. I feel like they're causing the problems and they're creating the problems in order to feel as if you don't like them. That That's totally my opinion about this whole insanity here. This one, oh my God, this one, okay. Extremely straight and also extremely queer. Here we go. I am pangender and pansexual. So I use all pronouns because I am non-binary, but I also do not feel a like strong connection to any of the genders, but also I don't feel like a strong, ew, I hate it to any of the genders. Well, what are you? Though if you call me ma'am, I will punch you. <laughs> but if I am all genders, that means I'm always straight in a relationship. What? But it also means I am always super fucking queer. So it works every way. I am... Okay, I just can't. You cannot be queer and straight. Period. Also, this person is all over the place. They, you can have every pronoun in the book, but I guarantee you, if you misgender this person, I don't know how you misgender them when they're literally saying they're every gender and they're everything. And this is the stuff I'm talking about. The message that these people are putting out there is so mixed up. I don't even understand. And also, I want to know how this has, what does this have to do with being trans? What does this have to do with being queer? You cannot be straight and queer. What is, what? That's a co-opting right there. Queer means gay. And if you're not identifying as gay, you are not queer. I have to take a breath because it, I just don't get all this stuff. I don't, I really don't. I don't know if it's because I'm old, but I doubt it. Cause I think there's a lot of other people younger than me that also don't get it. Can we please stop? If you want to get respect, I'm going to tell all of you out there who are doing this stuff with your crazy weirdo pronouns, that's okay if you want to identify however you do, but stop. Stop with this violent attitude towards anybody who misgenders you and stop with this idea that you're so oppressed in the world. You're oppressing yourself by putting all these labels on top of you and then expecting everyone else to understand where you're coming from. I really do think we have a crisis, not only in the trans community, but we have a crisis with young people today. We really need to get, you know, I know I'm kind of making fun here, but I do think we really need to have a real serious talk about mental health care and how we can get people back on track without feeling that they have to identify with 500 different pronouns or else they're not going to be able to make it in the world. Thanks so much for watching. I totally appreciate you. You know that. I, it does. It means the world to me that you watch these. I'm trying to get this stuff down here so we can really start to push back against a narrative that is not only hurting transsexual people, but it's actually hurting the LGBT community on so many levels. So again, I appreciate you all watching. I appreciate the comments. They mean a lot to me. I appreciate you subscribing. And if you want to see more of this stuff, just let me know in the comments what other kind of stuff you'd like for me to react to. And with that, have a beautiful, awesome day evening, wherever you are, my friends, and I'll see you on the next one.